I'm going to quickly show how easy it is to build an IoT solution that runs in both the cloud and the edge, uh, gathering data from the edge that would come from machines and displaying that back to uh, end users. I'm going to use the ClearBlade platform, the IoT platform running in the cloud, along with it deploying an edge here with you. And we'll be able to actually see that come alive in a visualization for end users. Uh, what you're looking at here is my screen. I'm logged into the IoT platform, but I have no solutions, no systems installed. I could certainly start from scratch, but it's always a little easier uh, just to import something. Um, I'll import from our IPM community, so we have a number of open source packages available for you to import with different solutions. Um, ultimately, I've got it shared right here, and I'll just drop that URL in. Uh, we'll ask it to fetch that asset and then see that we can import it. Uh, this includes all the assets you would expect, like the visualizations, the logic, the edge definitions, the devices, all that stuff comes in um, already for us. So you can see now we've dropped in and have a new pump demo system or solution available to us. Uh, this is going to let us look at the status of an industrial pump. Again, we haven't connected up any devices or edges at this point. This is all just a solution running in the cloud. Um, I'll start by showing the portals. So we'll click the portal and we'll then look at one of the portals. You can have as many visualizations as you might want. Um, but as this loads up, you can see we have a nice little web interface responsive UI for looking at what's going on. I'll do the flyout and see that there's only a single pump device in the list currently, but I'll select it and then we'll come back and we'll see that we have some basic data about this particular pump. Um, you'll notice we don't have any real data actually coming in uh, from our gateway devices. So if I go back and we go through that story of how do we connect up the actual device with the IoT gateway streaming that information? Well, we begin by defining an edge. So I'll come in here and I'll name my new edge pump edge and then I'll ask it to generate a key for me and we'll create that. So we now have a new edge defined in our cloud just waiting to be set up and installed. You can see there's no IPs or, or set up at this moment but we can quickly come in here and look at the configuration and choose to install this edge on a variety of process architectures. For the purposes of this demonstration I'll just run it locally and there's lots of steps, obviously, when you pull these files down, but I always like just to grab the script to install it for me. So we'll pull down the install.sh script, and then we'll open our terminal. In our terminal, the first thing we'll do is we'll move that install file into our pump folder for the demonstration. Then we'll go into this folder, and now we'll come in here and we'll make that file executable. This means we can actually run it. Um, in general, these are the only kind of low-level commands. We'll be as quick as we can through here. So now we're running the install. Uh, this is getting the files from the cloud, pulling it all the way down, getting it set up. It should ask me for some additional credentials as far as uh, putting it on my path for myself uh, so that it's easier to use in the future. So now I'll provide my password. And now it's been installed. The next thing you have to do is you have to start the process. Yet again, lots of flags for different ways to run the edge. Um, I'll just copy the base command and we'll paste that into our prompt. And you'll see here that it's gonna start up, it's gonna create its own database, it's gonna get fired up and start pulling data down. Except we haven't said what we want to run on the edge. Um, so while this edge is up and started successfully, nothing's actually been deployed. You can imagine that there's lots of data that we've put into this demonstration, into this actual system and solution. There's devices, but none of that is configured to go to the actual edge. If we go and look at it, though, we can see that we now have ports and configuration. All sorts of things are set up, and the, obviously there's metadata about what's going on in the processor at the edge. But if we want to get data to it, we'll simply go to a deployment. We'll say create a new deployment, and we'll call it a pump deployment. What's compelling here is that we actually then can go pick a subset of information that runs to that particular edge. Um, we'll pick to have the entire device table always deployed in sync. This means all the devices, the shadows, whatever you call them, that will always be in sync from edges to the actual uh, platform. We'll go in and we'll add one service. We're not gonna add all of our logic. All of these little JavaScript microservices aren't gonna all go down there, but we are gonna bring this one that we've designed to run at the edge. 
And then we'll come in and we'll say, you know, how often do we want to get this data off of the edge? Well, we'll set up and have a timer that runs and pulls every second. So we'll deploy this timer to our edge as well. Finally, we have to decide where does it go. Now, certainly with only one edge, it makes sense that just this one edge would get this bit of logic. But as you scale, this number gets much larger. When you have thousands of pumps in the field, how do you set that up and configure it? Uh, how do you make them unique from each other? This deployment model makes that reusability uh, very, very simple. So now as soon as I hit save, we're actually going to recognize that the information at the edge is immediately updated. So I'm going to hit save and then quickly go and look at our terminal. And what we're going to notice is, is that our terminal, our edge, is starting to update. It's pulled down all the record tables. It's now beginning to fire and generate statistics. So what's happened is, is now our edge running remotely in the field, talking to the pump, is starting to pull off data. With just that little bit of work, we now can go back to our visualization, and we see that we're getting live data, our uh, rotations, our temperature, our amps, voltage, all this information is now coming back live to us uh, with just that little bit of deployment model. So certainly taking a huge amount of the challenge of pushing uh, large systems to lots of different places and deploying that has been made very, very simple with the ClearBlade IoT platform and the ClearBlade IoT Edge platform.